My name is Tara Chowdhury and I'm talking about the environment and how important it is to protect it. I cannot stress enough how vital it is that we care for and protect our natural surroundings. I feel passionately about this cause as it is my future and the future of others to come. Right now, in my local area, a company is drilling for shale gas. The controversial process of fracking, which I do not support and don't agree with, because I've seen the environmental disaster it's caused in America. Scientists believe we will run out of fossil fuels in the next 50 years. Why are we not doing more to use renewable resources? They are available already. A leading electricity supplier, Good Energy, estimates that buying from completely renewable sources would cost an average household just 75p per week more on bills. I am willing to pay that if it keeps our world alive. Despite this, the government have cut funding for renewable technology programmes by 20%. Initially, renewable resources may seem a lot of money to develop, but they pay for themselves over the years as we will never run out of sun, wind and sea. The UK should be investing in a low carbon and environmentally friendly future. When people think of clean energy, they usually jump straight to wind and solar, but there is so much more like biomass, wave and geothermal could all be ideal for, ideal for our planet, as I live on an island. But it's not just the government that can contribute. The general public can help massively as well by cutting down on car usage, turning off unnecessary electrical items, installing solar panels on their houses and much more. Nowadays, we take advantage of cars so much and use them for journeys we could easily walk, but just choose comfort over the environment. Also, public transport is right on our doorstep and much more environmentally friendly than 30 cars polluting our atmosphere. Even if these ideas don't appeal, car sharing is a be also a better option, as one car's carbon emissions are lower than two. The way we travel hugely affects our surroundings, and an average car's carbon footprint is 17 tonnes. Right now in the UK, there are plans to put hydraulic fracturing, fracking into mass production. We cannot let this happen. This is because it's bad for the environment, a health hazard, and disturbs our natural beauty. On more than one occasion, citizens near where there has been a fracking site in America have been able to set fire to their water as methane has leaked into their water systems and groundwater. This really doesn't sound safe. Crops and animals, they nearly have died unexplainably. This can't all be a coincidence. People were getting ill, their hair was falling out, and many more strange things happened. It was bad enough from having to go through this, but bringing it to our shores seems crazy. They have already built three drilling sites in the field near Blackpool, where I live, and following the build, we had too many earthquakes. There are many now, but how do we know they're not going to escalate? They are also a complete eyesore and will do nothing for local tourism, which Blackpool heavily depends on. Although jobs have been promised, we have to think of the major consequences. Reports of water being contaminated is highly dangerous. Carcinogenic toxins and, and earthquakes don't seem to be enough for them to stop. What will it take? Right now, it could be creating local jobs, but in the process, it's poisoning our future, literally. In conclusion, I think we are too slowly heading in the right direction with renewable resources, and as a planet, know what we need to do. You may not think little things like walking instead of driving makes much of a difference, but if six billion people did it, I'm sure it would. Thank you for listening.